collectively the Vol defense hasn't allowed a touchdown through 12 quarters going back to last season. Can you just kind of put it in perspective how difficult it is to be able to do that? Oh, that's hard. That's hard for any defense to shut out three teams consecutively with no touchdowns. I didn't get to play in the Iowa game, but watching that game from the sideline, it's crazy. It's just, it's, that's something that's very, very rare to do. And, you know, we're very proud to say that we've done it, but we got to keep it going this week and the next week. What do you think your biggest area of improvement was from preseason to game one and then game one to game two? Uh, the mental part of the game. Um, there's definitely a big, big jump from where I was to where I am now with, you know, being able to process and idea and formations and things like that. So that's the part of the game that I've grown the most in the past couple months. So. Vince. Show me take us through your sack. What was the call? What did you see? And uh, what was your reaction afterwards? Oh, we just had a, a simple pressure off the edge. Um, I seen that the back step straight up, and I was going to get a free edge. I thought he was going to tip me, so that's why I didn't get a full on. But that's my first ever career sack. So my uh, my emotions are very high, and I just wanted to celebrate with the guys. And AC was the first person to greet me, so that was the best part about it all. Wes, and then Patrick. I guess you said that was your first career sack in college, at least. How? how how many times did you get close in the middle? How many times were you like right there? Uh, I didn't get a lot of chances to pressure that. It may have been one time in the three years that I was there, but we didn't really send our safeties a lot there. But here, we're coming, so it's pretty, it's pretty fun. I love it. Sure, on, the, on the play, how do you make sure that you don't kind of tip off your hand early that you are blitzing? Because you know, James on the other side, which are a lot of attention mm -hmm. when they're protection. How do you make sure that you don't kind of tip off the, you're coming off the other edge? Uh, you know, just trying to stay out of the vision of the quarterback. Trying not to let the, the O-line see that you're, you know, coming out real close. So, it's really about just playing mind game with them. Paige. You were one of the guys that had a CFL against NC State. What do you think it is about the guys just being able to affect the game so much behind the line of scrimmage? Yeah, that's our biggest thing. Uh, Coach Mays talks all the time about playing with behind the line of scrimmage, you know, winning the LOS and, uh, you know, us being able to do that can create a lot of openings for our defense, you know, open up a lot of things. And uh, it's, it's, best, it's the best part about it all. And I love it. Like, this defense is amazing. It's so fun to play in. Ben? How have uh, Will and Andre helped you in your transition to, to Tennessee? And then what's that competition battle throughout the offseason been like? And where do you feel like the next step for you is in your game? Uh, the competition was, was, was amazing. Uh, we all competed each and every day, but there was no no bat in the eye to each other. We all you know, respected and loved each other the exact same, no matter how the day went. But Will has definitely helped me learn the position a lot better. You know, he's been here for some time, so he knows it in and out. And, uh, you know, he had a pick last week, which is, which is amazing. And we all celebrated on the sideline. But, you know, that group, that, that group of us is all really, really close. So, you know, it's been good. It's been really, really good. Casey in the back, and then Ben's up front. You mentioned how fun it is to play inside this defense. Is this the funnest defense you've ever had that you've played in, and why is that? Oh, by far, it's the most fun. It's just carnage. That's our biggest thing. We talk about carnage, and you know, there's guys everywhere that you know are making plays. So it's just, I don't really know how to explain. It's just something that's so fun when you see one guy make a play, and then you see another guy, another guy, another guy. It's just, it's amazing to see everybody having fun. Joey, do you see or sense a either a surprise from opponents uh, on how good you are or how fast you guys are as a, a defense or, or maybe just not being prepared for what you guys are bringing to the table? Uh, no, I don't, I don't think we've ever been underestimated. Um, I think our secondary has proved to a lot of people that we are who we say we are. You know, offseason we were a little doubted, but I think everybody knew that we were going to play fast. That's one of Coach Banks' biggest things that everything he's ever done. He's always had a defense that's played fast. So I don't think anybody underestimated us, and I'm sure that they don't. We'll finish with Patrick. Thank you. So what are your thoughts on Coach Banks? How does he kind of help you specifically kind of come in and coming in from another school, learn the defense, and be able to play and make that transition kind of quickly? Uh, he was really, really patient with me. Um, and that was the biggest thing I can say is he sat down with me each and every day and, you know, talked me through and, and made sure I understood why we were doing something, not just, I knew the job, he wanted me to know why he would call it and why he would do these things. And I really appreciate those things, like I say all the time, and I can say it back to me, so, you know, I love it. All right.
Thank you.